Section twenty of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell, by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. Stars, by Emily Bronte. Ah, why, because the dazzling sun restored our earth to joy, have you departed every one and left a desert sky? All through the night your glorious eyes were gazing down in mine, And with a full heart's thankful sighs I blessed that watch divine. I was at peace, and drank your beams as they were life to me, And reveled in my changeful dreams like petrol in the sea. Thought followed thought, star followed star, Through boundless regions on, while one sweet influence near and far thrilled through and proved us one. Why did the morning dawn to break so great, so pure a spell, and scorch with fire the tranquil cheek where your cool radiance fell? Blood-red he rose, and arrow-straight his fierce beams struck my brow. The soul of nature sprang elate, but mine sank sad and low. My lips closed down, yet through their veil I saw him blazing still, and steep in gold the misty dale and flash upon the hill. I turned me to the pillow then, to call back night, and see your worlds of solemn light again throb with my heart and me. It would not do. The pillow glowed, and glowed both roof and floor, and birds sang loudly in the wood, and fresh wind shook the door. The curtains waved, the wakened flies were murmuring round my room, imprisoned there till I should rise and give them leave to roam. O oh, stars and dreams and gentle night, O oh, night and stars return, and hide from me the hostile light that does not warm but burn that drains the blood of suffering men, drinks tears instead of dew. Let me sleep through his blinding rain, and only wake with you. End of section 20